Hi, uh, I also didn't know for the title and I put some which may serve as a title. Okay, that uh, uh, as my colleague uh, Hroje will talk more about nautical tourism, I was uh, prepared more about all threats which is, uh, we face during the Anthropocene in Adriatic in our coast. That means uh, more threats in the world. I'll sit down because I need to touch the computer. Uh, first, it's uh, a global ch climate change. Before we was uh, called this more heating. Now we know that the climate is changing and nobody really knows how it will finish. Then we call just climate change. Uh, also, either is uh, serious loss of biodiversity, which is huge problem in the world, and uh, environmental pollution. As I don't know enough about these first two, I will talk just about environmental pollution in uh, Adriatic. Uh, major pollutants, okay, I divide, it's not some uh, strictly division in the world, but I use this uh, divide. We have inorganic pollutants, we have organic pollutants, uh, we have radioactivity, we have uh, solid waste, marine litter or marine debris or however we call this, but this become more and more serious problem. Uh, microbiological pathogens, it's also uh, one of problem which is now increasing in Adriatic. Maybe not so that this problem increasing, but many of, luckily, many of other problems decrease because we kill all industry and uh, because of that this other problem decrease but uh, because logically increase and also we have something what uh, they call emerging pollutants and we'll talk some word about this just to show that what you watch on TV about this CSI and how they pick up one drop of anything and see everything inside is not function, but like that. Okay, uh, let's start with uh, inorgan pollutants. We divide inorgan pollutants in uh, metals and non-metals. Uh, uh, for metals, it's most important that they have lack of biodegradability. That means when you put once some metals in environment, like mercury, it always stays mercury. After 1,000 years, it will be mercury. It will not change to anything other. The most toxic metal is mercury. Second is cadmium, then lead, and then other metal like copper, uh, zinc are poisoned, but in other hand, they're essential metal. And uh, though living organisms, include humans, need this metal for living. And there's some, sometimes very narrow windows between uh, doesn't enough and too much. Just this enough window. And the uh, situation now in Adriatic, we had some hot spot. For mercury, uh, we had in the north, uh, in Slovenia part, because uh, the mine Idria, its mercury mine, was the, one of the biggest in the world. It was second biggest mercury mine in the world. Now it's closed, most, more than 15 years. And uh, okay, still from these uh, mines, some water came in Adriatic, but it's decreasing and it's not some big problem. Other was uh, Kastelansky, Kastela Bay, uh, where uh, from uh, factory Yugovinil, they released, okay, nobody knows exactly, but around 5,000 tons of mercury in environment. And many of these mercury stay, stay still 
in the factory, and this is the huge danger. I said this several times, but okay. Uh, in a sea environment, this mercury stay in sediment, and now it's mostly deep enough that it doesn't have still a negative impact on the environment. In the water column, the mercury concentration is just slightly increased. In sediment, in deeper part of sediment, it's danger, but in the surface sediment, is not. That means uh, for sea part, mercury, it's uh, released. Other, we had some mercury pollution in Shibenik Bay and in Rijeka port, but in both locations also, it's now usually deeper than 20 centimeters of sediment. That means that also this mercury is not dangerous for the environment. Okay, maybe if we start some dredging and uh, digging in sediment, we may reactivate it, this pollution, but if we leave this alone, this is safe enough. For cadmium, we had some problem in the sea environment. We had some point with increased cadmium, for example, in Shibenik Bay, because there is a phosphate ore port, <laughs> phosphate ore transshipment, and phosphate ore naturally rich with cadmium, also with radionuclides, and, but, and because of that also in uh, Neretva Delta, also this cadmium from uh, phosphate fertilizer enter environment, but nothing really serious. With lead, when we finish with lead in fuel, we finish with problem with lead, mostly in all our coastal area. Uh, with copper, we have problem because we use in our, our anti-fooling paint, but I will leave to her to explain this. This is the only of metal increasing problem, all other decreasing. And uh, I leave for the end this TBT because this is organotin component, but now this is forbidden more than 15 years in Croatia. Only the army may use for army ship. Okay, uh, the people still use because, uh, you know, when you put paint on army ship, always something stay and the people do not put away, just pick up for their boats. And for example, in Shibenik, we had still problem with this because there is an army shipyard. But uh, really this problem is also decreasing, seriously decreasing in, in all Adriatic. Uh, Non-metals, we have these uh, three groups. And uh, with this, uh, this problem is still I will say on the same level. This mostly came from agriculture and from this uh, fertilizer, this entering in Adriatic, but uh, still in our part, the river Po uh, bring more phosphate and nitrates than any other our river, including Neretva, and only in Neretva it's some problem, all other is not in any part on Croatia because our sea is oligotrophic sea and we doesn't have problem with nutrients. It's very rare, okay, I say in front of Istria, but this is because of Italy, not because of us. I, some 10 years ago, I worked here in the Rijeka and this is the Rijeka port, if you see, and for all metals you have in that time recent and uh, the old situation and, and the location of pollutant that is in sediment and uh, as you see for mostly of pollutants uh, during time the concentration decreased. Exception was silver and uh, I don't know why, 
I didn't find it, that the concentration of silver in sediments of Rieka port increase. And uh, there is some source that say that this old, this uh, paper factory, but I didn't find any connection. But uh, in last, okay, this was made 10 years ago, but then in last 30 years, the concentration of silver increased during time. I don't know how, but you know that uh, silver is uh, quite toxic for biota, and, uh, bec but uh, people use this. You know that in uh, hospitals, they all, they use a lot of silver, this microgranulos of silver to, to kill all pathogens. And uh, it's proved that during Middle Age, these uh, noble people, which use uh, silver dishes, have, they have much greater chance to survive Kuga time. That uh, if you put water in silver glass, in one hour it will be almost sterile. The silver will kill everything inside. But okay, maybe if you live too long, it will kill you all. Okay, but this is a Rijeka port, include this port of Baros, and we also work other research. But in water, it's clean. In sediment, have some problem, but in deeper parts of sediment. In the racing sediment, it's quite good. Uh, this is uh, Bakarbay Bay, and the situation is uh, quite similar. You may see uh, the difference, and you see the source. You see the source of city of Bakar, this uh, terminal and for various uh, metal. But also, I was surprised that the uh, situation in Bakar was not bad like in uh, Kastela Bay. It, it was quite good for Bakar Bay. The people think, but, okay, the urine and the oil is other things, but Bakar Bay and this port situation is it's really not bad. And I will show you uh, one example. Uh, you see, this is the bottom of the sea, and this is mercury. You see, this, we are picking up mercury on the bottom of sea, and this mercury there is the result of one ancient shipwreck it was from Middle Age. It was a Venetian ship which was bringing the material for harem in Istanbul. And um, near Biograd, the pirates attacked and sank it. I didn't know before this research. Uh, in that time, the mirrors they produced by putting the mercury between two glasses. And they break a lot of mercury brought or mirror there, but you know, now you may understand that this, when you think, if I break mirror is seven years of bad luck, that, that is the really. In that time when nobody opened the window, and if you break the mirror and you leave the mercury in the room, seven years for sure is bad luck. <laughs> it means that it's real. And uh, still, after almost 500 years, we still have this mercury like this, elementary mercury. But this mercury is not poison in that. Even if you drink this mercury, probably will pass without any serious problem. But if you live in your room and you breath and uh, start to vaporize, it's quite toxic. It's really quite toxic and uh, fast toxic. That means if you break the, this whole thermometer, you need to open all windows and do clean well. The easiest way, if you break the thermometer, uh, just go to this agriculture and buy the sulfur. Just put the sulfur above the mercury, the all smallest drop will be catched by sulfur, then you just clean and you finish with this. 
Okay, next we have organic pollutants. Uh, we have these uh, two types of organic pollutants. You know, the important this is persisting organic pollutants because these pollutants stay a long time in environment. They, and because of that are more dangerous and also these pollutants is produced by people and now we may find in any part of the environment we may part, find this persistent organic pollutants. Some are produced by people when they wanted to produce and some other is just produced during some other process. Uh, you probably heard about this PAH, PCB and all this. We had some discussion about this PAH in Shibenik Bay and about this. Some of this is quite toxic. For some, just in last decades, we decide that it's toxic. We, and uh, we have some division concentration. Uh, it was few research about this uh, pollutants in Adriatic fish, and I must say that our fish pass all tests. They find some, but never in some concentration which uh, may be serious for people. But one of most famous was DDT, which is now forbidden all around the Western world, but is still produced in Africa. And that means that many of agricultural products which you may import for Africa have these parts of DGT. And uh, why this? They don't want to... Yeah, we just literally just lie down at your bridge. Okay. No, pretty proche. Okay. Uh, I just, uh, because this, uh, you all learn in school this uh, biomagnification and the bioaccumulation and biomagnification. This is the of sim sample of biomagnification and with DGT, and you may see how much they made from this concentration in the water to concentration in bird, but this bird may be men who eat fish, uh, how it's increased, how many times, how many level of magnitude from the concentration. That means even if you in the water column, which we may measure, find very, 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 very low concentration, then at the end of tropic level, you may have really serious concentration. And that is problem with this persistent organic pollutants. Uh, when watch it, mostly of them are dissolved in fats and accumulated in fats in organism, and through the bioaccumulation may be very dangerous for people. But at the lack and Adriatic, maybe few hotspots, but we have not some very big problem with this still. Also, uh, radioactivity. Okay, we have just one nuclear power plant is in Slovenia, that there is no any at Adriatic. Uh, the people talk about this weapon with this uranium after war in Bosnia that NATO planes put in Adriatic, but this is nothing serious. Then we have this free hotspot. We have this plumbing bay. Uh, here it's mostly on the land, but have some in the sea. You know, in uh, coal, many of coal, it's nature, have naturally elevated concentration of uranium and radium. Uh, because uh, when water with uranium pass through the coal, uh, coal serves as organic barrier and uranium settled here. And when you burn the coal, you concentrate uranium in ash. 
And then in ash, you may have elevated concentration of uranium, and with this, uh, you have higher activity. But this activity is not some serious problem, especially in water. In the land, it may be problem if you have, because it's, uh, uranium and radium is not a problem, but one of the level is radon 222, and uh, this radon is very short living, 30 hours and something, and uh, this radon go in the atmosphere rapidly. When grow, it's rapidly growing. But if you have some basement or something like this to prevent go up, then you may have, in this space, you may have elevated concentration of radon. And then if you go inside and you breathe, this radioactive activity uh, which low energy, but it happened inside of you, and then even it's very low energy may influence of not very well result. The second uh, hot spot is Shibenik Bay, where we have this phosphate ore treatment, because also phosphate ore is naturally uh, elevated, have radionuclides, but also this, it's all just fall down in sea, and the phosphate all, all was in uh, gravel, not, and they stay where they fall down. And it's not, we measure many times and even now have uh, monitoring of EIA muscle watch, they call, and they monitoring the muscle, and no, it's uh, completely safe, even in the port to eat uh, uh, Mitil Gala Provincialis is Latin name of Dagna. I, I don't know English. <laughs> Muscle is all. Okay. And uh, the last in uh, Castella Bay, uh, where also they use uh, this coal in this factory, and they put this coal in the sea, and they have elevated radioactivity in the sea in front of factory, but also, as I said, it, this is on the bottom, there is no problem on radon, and this what was on the land, they put the gravels and clay above, and now that, that is the dry park, parking for the yacht. And if radon, because they will go up and it's no problem. That means for radioactivity, we are safe. No any problem really in Adriatic. Okay, now, this become more problem every year. As you know, I started to, just for curiosity, between 21 years we start to, to make photo and to, of the, on the beaches and this float is every year, the quantity is higher, it's changed, uh, for example, this before it was many of these aluminum cans, then this PET bottle was, then uh, PVC was the bigger problem. Now uh, it's this uh, polypropyrene, styropore is the, the biggest problem. I put this uh, just few from internet, just through estimation, just to show that this is a really global problem. And this problem is worst in Mediterranean, and Adriatic is just Bay of Mediterranean. That all Mediterranean they call it just plastic soup. It's full of this floating litter, of litter in the bottom, and of microplastic. And same to Adriatic. Uh, still, mostly in our part, it's not our, but we have our part also. Uh, this is municipal waste in Croatia. Uh, this is uh, for percentage for all Croatia. It's uh, kilos per person, and. As you see, when you see like this, 
it's look at the coast, it's the most of garbage. It's look that it's interior, nobody produces of garbage. But that is product of tourism. Just when you see the official data about garbage per people in the coastal area and its interior. Now you, and uh, as you know, the many of this uh, garbage which we produce finish in the sea. And uh, this is an example of uh, Zaton Bay near Shibenik. It's after some south wind. And all this, what you see, is styropor. And all this is creation. Nothing is come from Albania. It's from this muscle farm. They still use it. They forbid many times, but they still use this for this muscle farm in the Kirka River estuary. You see, this is just one day after you go wind. See, it's like you have like snow at the sea. And just fish eat this, which is, it look like some kind of food, and then we eat uh, fish, and that's it. But uh, the other problem is at the surface, stay around 10%. 9%, 90% finish at the bottom. And this look like a bottom. This is all photo from Croatia, from Adriatic. And I'm almost sure that all of our, not uh, for uh, tourists. Uh, when I finish, I'll, uh, I have, I didn't put here one movie, uh, to see how people think that all others is guilty for this. Okay, this is, uh, we make some experiment in, in front of uh, Neretva Delta, and this is the, from uh, Kocha, okay, towel net, and you see 10 to 30% it's plastic. It's ordinary. And of course that the fishermen complain, put again in the, Bottom, and what all of you see every day, some part of this floating litter finish on our coast and at every hour bay all around the Adriatic coast is like this. You may not find in Svetas Island, Susha Island, more, all is full of garbage, plastic garbage. It's really full. Then we come to microplastic. That means all parts smaller than five millimeter is microplastic. Microplastic we may divide this primary and secondary. Uh, primary is these granules which enter in the sea uh, before product and secondary is this. And also we may see, say that 10 to 20 percent of microplastic in the sea is primary, 80 to 90 percent is the composition of plastic in the sea. Plastic is very resistant, but uh, at the sunlight, uh, the plastic starts to start polymerization and become more hard and easier to break. You know that if you leave the, this PVC bag on the sun, very soon it will break in small, small parts, and then will become microplastic. Uh, the main source in Adri for microplastic in Adriatic, still it's wastewater from cities. Uh, you know our cities, they say, okay, we have, but no one, any city in Croatia doesn't have this waste system, we will pick up the microplastic from wastewater. All go to the sea. And mostly came from our clothes, which is plastic. If you at home have this drying machine, and when you clean this filter, or what you find, this is 99.9 .9 microplastic. And please, when you clean your drying machine, no put in the toilet, put in the garbage. I know that toilet is the clothes there, but please don't put in the toilet. 
just put in the garbage. Okay, this is how we sample microplastic from city to island. Yabuka, we have this net, then uh, we look in the microscope and have this for shape, have this main, five main uh, groups, fragment, pellet, film, foam, and fiber. We mostly find fiber and, and this is our uh, photo. Foam, it's mostly from styropore and granula, it's uh, primary and this fragment film, it's mostly look like this when you find and uh, today depends the wind, the location, we have between five to 100 particles of plastic per cubic meter of seawater in any part of Adriatic, you will find this. Still, we don't know how big is this problem. There is plastic, and the other problem with this microplastic is that around this microplastic, it's grow the organic film, and that uh, organic uh, film uh, pick up the pollutants from water, mostly uh, metals and this uh, persistent organic pollutants. And for example, when some sea organism or even human uh, eat this plastic, this plastic will not harm, maybe will go out, but the digestive system will pick up the toxicant from this plastic and then this plastic may use be used like a vector to entering the poison in the organism. We proved this, but we still don't know how serious is this. But every year have more and more microplastic in the environment. Okay, this is a uh, thing like this. Then we have microbiological pathogens. This is five groups, which is uh, mostly danger for, uh, here we don't talk uh, about the environment, mostly about toxic to humans. Uh, and because of that, we, uh, for this uh, quality of water for swimming, we test to total and fecal coliforms. Why we test this not to test? Because this, uh, Fecal coliforms is not danger, really. You may, it's not danger. But this came from digestive of uh, humans or other animals. And uh, in the sea water may live very shortly. One, two, three days. And it's very easy to detect. That means if we find it in some beach, that means that some sewage, somebody released for some sewage system, and then maybe other pathogens, and then we forbid to swim there. We are not afraid of this uh, fecal coliform. We are afraid, what, but it will be too complicated and much too expensive that you try to find all pathogens which may be there. Because of that, we just test this, this fecal coliform, which is, at the end, is not... And uh, the two main sources is nautical tourism. Hrvoj will talk about this. <laughs> and the uh, sewage system of uh, cities. This is the two main source. And uh, I think that uh, situation in Croatia is still not very dangerous, but uh, we test just beach. I think that many of these big bays were during night many yacht uh, anchorage. I will not swim there because uh, it's too, and because all our charter boats have opened this tank and everything goes directly to the sea. Because for owner it will be too difficult 
to clean it, and mostly of our marina doesn't have facilities to pick up this water. That means mostly of our official beach is okay. Well, I will say all of our official beaches is okay, and they're regularly checked. But uh, this part where is a lot of boats and which nobody check, I'm not so sure. And uh, at the end, we have this emerging pollutants. Uh, that is big. That is a big uh, stuff now. That is, we, every day, we imagine and produce new chemical compounds. And for many of these, we don't know what it will be, how it will harm the nature. Every day we find some, okay, this is danger. Maybe, it will be, maybe it's not danger for this small concentration, but maybe even this small concentration, if you 10 years eat something with this, it will become danger, maybe in 20 years. And uh, as you see, here is food additive, pharmaceutical, antibiotics, physical simultans, uh, disinfected care products, analgetics. There is a lot of this product. And it's also, which I said before with this CSI, we may not pick up the water sample and find everything. For mostly of them, you need to try to find them to find them. And that is the problem. And this uh, I pick up from uh, one friend, if it's not my invention, but I like this, that SOS means save our seas. And this is from Shibanik Bay. Uh, is, we have underwater camera, and this camera attracts uh, this creature. Thanks. <laughs>